is our December camp. It is our second camp of the season. It's our second audition camp. So it's an opportunity for people to come in new, uh, kind of experience what it's like to be a Spartan for a day or a weekend. What we're looking for is 130 young adults to go out on a, uh, an adventure to, to learn about uh, leadership and um, challenge themselves emotionally and physically and, make, and, and see what they are made of to, to make them better uh, people going forward and, and have a good time. The Spartans Drum and Bugle Corps out of Nashua have a lot to live up to this season. Receiving the gold medal with a score of 81.05. 81.05. The summertime marching band and defending world champs have their sights set on another title run. We're not resting on our laurels on that last ring uh, from last year. It was fun and we enjoyed it immensely, but we're also looking forward to the next one. The Spartans have been banging their drums and blowing their bugles in New Hampshire since 1955, when now president Paul LaFlame's grandfather, Albert, took a group of troubled kids and put some instruments in their hands. It was supposed to be for one summer only. It was supposed to be a Labor Day parade, uh, which they did. And the next summer, it kind of blossomed. Uh, he put out a competitive unit. The baton has remained in the family, with Paul now leading the charge. It's just been part of my life and who I am since the day I was born. Over time, uh, it has become a much more artistic type endeavor, uh, to the point now where we don't even have uniforms. What we wear are costumes, costumes that match the show and the theme of the year. So it's not my grandfather's drum and bugle corps, for sure. The mood at camp is light, and it's clear the group is happy to catch up and see some familiar faces. But when the core hopefuls enter the practice room, every set of eyes is dialed in to the music and their instrument. Jonathan Arsenault from Mason, New Hampshire, is here trying out for the first time. I'm hoping to meet a lot of people and make a lot of friends, um, uh, learn this new instrument and get hopefully kind of good at it, uh, and just have a good time and uh, have a good summer and travel. Yes, he said new instrument. The 18-year-old normally plays the tenor sax, but has recently taken up the mellophone. I'd like to say I'm pretty good for two months, but I'm not super great. We'll see uh, how that goes. Do you think I got a spot? Not sure. We'll see. Ibby Sonia from Lancaster, Mass, is back in the role of veteran this year. She's already signed her contract and is looking forward to another busy summer on the road. Being a rookie, you have those people to look up to, but now being a veteran, you are that person. Um, so it's so cool getting to see them trying things for the first time because I went through that last year um, and really helping them grow. I had never marched before, so I was terrified coming in here, but I have a background in dance and gymnastics, so I was hoping that I'd pick up on the steps really quickly. Um, but obviously winning a championship was kind of a cool part of it, especially for a first year. Um, but the highlight was definitely just meeting the people. I finally found like where I belonged and where I fit in, which was the coolest thing ever. Any kid that is willing to give up their summer to work on their craft and play their instrument for 8, 10, 12 hours a day, ride on a bus, eat when you're told to and not when you're hungry. I said, it takes a special kind of person to do that. And so they're, they're all these good people anyway. Despite the long hours, the Spartan veterans say, if you love marching bands, you'll love spending your summer as a Spartan. And you'll take away more skills than could ever be performed on the field. The music and the instruments are just, that's, a, that, that's just a tool to, to something much larger. One of the things that Spartans always says is RRC, respect, responsibility, commitment, and seeing that on like all of their logos and stuff like that, I knew that that was what I wanted to do with my life. It's not just something that drum corps follows, it's something you can really apply to anything you do. 
Every single member in this drum corps, uh, at some point during the summer, is going to receive a Spartan necklace. What gets me every single time is when I'm scrolling through my Facebook page and one of these members are posting their, hey, here's my senior photo, and they have that necklace displayed in their senior photo for their high school yearbook, Th that's why I do it. If we gave them the experience that they think is that important and they had that much fun and it meant that much to them, then I've done my job. Marching bands, you know, Stigma, they're the geeks, they're the weirdos. We definitely are a crazy group. That is not a lie whatsoever. Um, but we're strong, we're smart, and we're, I think, pretty cool people.